Hi guys, good morning and welcome back to my YouTube channel. And today I'm going to discuss one of the unique concept that is the candlestick pattern for explosive move. In this video, I'm going to discuss the particular candlestick pattern. Whenever it happens on the chart, you can expect an explosive move most of the time. And not only that, in today's video, I'm also going to do the back testing on Nifty Bank Nifty chart on the historical charts in trading view and we will see that whenever this setup happened what happened after that whether really it gave explosive move or no everything we will do back testing and that also we are going to see it this is my twitter account around two days back that is on thursday i said there could be explosive move in the bank nifty today and i put the chart also both the chart i put on daily time frame and five minutes chart that day and on that day you can see that bank nifty from low of this to high of the day made almost 600 points move in bank nifty and it gave a very explosive move how i knew that before market open only i knew that there will be explosive move so that is what the objective of today's video in today's video i'm going to discuss about that particular setup which can give you explosive move most of the time so through this video we are going to discuss few things first we'll discuss about the setup that means how should be candlestick setup should be that i'll be discussing second i'll be discussing about the trend that means when you have to take the trade whether trend in the uptrend downtrend or sideways that we'll discuss and next and next we'll discuss about the time frame that means which time frame it should be traded whether smaller time frame or larger time frame then we'll discuss about the instrument that means which instrument it works most of the time whether nifty bank nifty or stocks commodity whatever it is that we'll discuss and finally we'll discuss entry where you have to take the entry where you should keep your stop loss and where should be your target so this all will be discussed in today's video that is candlestick pattern for the explosive move first we'll start with the setup so that how the candlestick setup should be before taking the trade so let me start with the diagram so that you will understand it better so for this criteria should be first candle previous candle should be big green candle like this and next candle that is the next candle that should be small candle with small wicks but candle should be but candle should be small and this candle doesn't matter whether it has a wicks or no this candle also doesn't matter whether it has a wicks or no but the criteria is this candle should be inside this candle that means if the previous candle is a big green candle the next candle should be red candle and it should be within this candle that means this candle wicks on the upside or downside should not touch the high or low of this green candle okay i hope you have understood it again i'll repeat it previous candle should be huge green candle that is known as master candle in trading in technical analysis this is called a master candle and this candle called a inside candle so it's a two candle setup so there are another setup same one on the opposite side that means if the previous candle is a big green candle big red candle and the next candle is a green candle but the candle stays inside the previous candle that means this is your inside candle this is your master candle as i said earlier this candle can have a wicks but this wick should not touch the high or low of this candle this wick should not touch high or low candle if the wick touches the high or low candle then it becomes invalid that means this setup becomes invalid so keep it in mind that this candle should be totally inside of this candle so this is the setup next we will discuss what should be the time frame and the time frame for this setup is the daily that means you should only look for this setup on daily time frame candlestick not on 1 minute 5 minutes 10 minutes 15 minutes for that you have to go to chart and click on daily time frame and then if you see this setup then that becomes your candidate for the explosive move next we are going to see about the instrument okay which instrument it works most of the time so what i have said it works most of the time in indices so what is indices indices are like nifty bank nifty fin nifty sensex nifty mid cap so this all indices but most of the time i have seen this works very well 
on nifty and bank nifty and second thing it can happen on stocks also okay so after indices next instrument i suggest is the stocks if you see this setup then it becomes your candidate for the explosive move next we are going to discuss about the trend what should be the trend trend should be upside or downside that means when you see this setup see the trend whether trend is upside or upside or downside if the trend is not upside or downside it is like a zigzag or a sideways then this setup is not valid this setup is valid valid only in the uptrend or a downtrend so you have seen the setup time frame instrument now we are going to discuss about the entry exit stop loss okay so first we will mark the trend trend we have marked on the upside assume that trend we have marked on the upside assume that it's a 20m so how to know trend is upward downside for that best thing is to do plot a 20ma it's plotting upside that mean trend is up now look for the candlestick which i said earlier that mean if you see a candlestick green candle like this and the next candle if you see that next candle is a red candle which have a weak small weak but it should not touch the high or low of this if you see this candle kind of candle then what next you are going to do next you are going to do the mark the high and low of the master candle you can mark the low but low is not important so that means when the trend is upside when 20ma is upside for this setup entry is only if the master candle high gets broken not the low gets broken okay so low gets broken then it becomes invalid so one type of entry you will be waiting for the next candle to see whether it breaks the high of the master candle so that is the one entry there is another entry for this setup and the next entry for this setup is if the inside candle high gets broken if the inside candle high gets broken that also becomes your setup and where you will take the profit target your profit target should be high of the master candle so there are two entry one entry is waiting for master candle high to be broken and second entry inside candle high to be broken for the target of master candle high if this candle low gets broken that becomes invalid if this candle becomes gets broken that becomes invalid why because i said this is only applicable in the trend trend is on the upside so you should only look go on the upside so that is the first setup same way opposite also can happen that mean in the opposite what should happen if you see a big red candle that is the master candle and the next candle is a green candle and the next green candle is inside this then you are going to what then what you are going to do you are going to mark the high and low and if this candle low gets broken that becomes your short what happens if the high gets broken it becomes invalid why because what i said you have to see the trend so in the downtrend if you see red candle then you should only look to go short on the break of the red candle now comes the question where to take profit for example if you see this setup on the downtrend and master candle low gets broken so where you will take the entry you will take the entry here take profit depends on whether you are a day trader or a swing trader if you are a day trader then i suggest you look for one risk to two risk reward look for one risk to two risk reward but if you are a swing trader look for one risk to three or one risk to four so now just to recap what i said entry there are two type of entry one entry is next day if this inside candle high or low gets broken then you can go long if the trend is on the upside then you should only look for the taking the trade on the long side if you take a long trade here then your profit should be here okay then your profit should be high of this candle but if you look for the master candle high to be broken if you go long here then you can go for 1 rest to 3 1 rest to 4 for positional trading day trading it can it should be at least 1 rest to 2 okay but if you take a long trade on the break of inside candle then you can keep your stop loss below the candle also why i say that you can keep the stop loss below the inside candle inside candle always range will be very small so stop loss will not be very big but if you take a long trade here and if you keep your stop loss here the stop loss going to be very big so that's why if you take a long trade here then keep your stop loss somewhere below the close of the master candle now what we'll do we'll go to the trading view 
and we'll do the back testing on nifty bank nifty chart and let us see when it happened how price behaved whether it gave explosive move or no everything we'll see in the back testing okay guys now for the back testing purpose i came to the trading view chart you can see that i have nifty and bank nifty on my chart and let us see in the past whenever inside candle break inside candle happened what happened after that on my chart you can see something here a red red triangle you can show you can see on my chart right you can see here green and red what is this this is the one indicator in the trading view if you go to indicator section and click on inside candle you can see this kind of small small triangle which is telling you that that is where inside candle happened so you don't have to do it manually you can do the back testing by applying a indicator called inside candle and it will automatically come on your chart so you don't have to go and manually do it so now let us see when it happened inside candle so on your chart you can see that this is the master candle huge master candle and then there is a small inside candle right for me it is not a valid candle why it is not a valid candle for the master candle breakout because you can see that master candle high is this right and low is this what is the trend trend is on the upside so what you should look for you should only look for the upside breakout right you should only look for the upside breakout and whether upside breakout happened no it only touched here upside breakout finally happened on this candle what i said for inside candle preferably next day candle only should break it so let us see what happened after that after the inside candle next day candle broken that inside candle which i said another type of entry right and that another type of entry is once inside candle broken you can go long for the target of master candle high you can see that almost this candle went to master candle high so that is the invalid because next day only this candle high to be broken master candle but master candle high not broken inside candle high broken so on that another type of entry you could have taken long trade and it could have worked next inside candle here next inside candle you can see here small tiny candle why it's a inside candle because this is the master candle and this candle opened above it so what you are going to do you are going to mark a horizontal line on that master candle and wait for that candle to be broken and this candle broken and you made profit let us see when is the next inside candle you can see there is a small green that means it's a inside candle right we'll mark the high of this green candle right you can mark the low also but low is not required because the trend is upside so we are only looking for the high of this candle so which candle broken this candle has broken the high so and gave you good profit right that candle has broken the inside candle and master candle both and if you had done a swing trading you could have got very good profit in this trade even for day trading also you could have got very good profit now what we'll do now 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 let us go to bank nifty and let us see bank nifty when inside candle happened okay this is the bank nifty chart and the one which i discussed earlier of this video which i said 20 july i said there could be ex explosive move and that candle is this candle can you see this candle that is the candle and you can see that after the high of that master candle broken there was a huge green candle which already i shown you at the beginning of this presentation beginning of this video and then there is another master candle right another inside candle here but is it a valid no why it's not a valid because that master candle high is not broken because we are only looking to see the high here it broken the low of that master candle right low was broken but we will not take the trade because trend is on the upside so you can see that there are many master candle here you can see the setup because that is the inside candle and and master candle after that a huge move on the upside and you can see that trend is on the upside in nifty and bank nifty so we should look for only on the upside whenever master candle high is broken now you have to go back and do the back testing to see how many times it worked again i am emphasizing that no setup no patterns work 100 percent of the time you should only look for the patterns which work 50 percent or more than that and ensure that one rest to two risk reward so that you can become a profitable trader so that's it guys about today's video on candlestick setups which can give explosive moves so let me know in the comment section 
how did you find this video and also let me know how did you find this new setup i have done a new setup for the educational videos on youtube and hence for that i decided to make most of my videos on this kind of digital board let me know in the comment section whether it was very interactive and also if you are interested to learn more about day trading then i have a day trading webinar that is 25 day trading strategy in nifty bank nifty where i discuss 25 various strategies and you can check the details below this video in the description section if you are interested you can contact me on whatsapp or email also i launched a new course that is the scalping course one minute scalping strategy in nifty bank nifty that details also you can check below this video in the description section so that's it guys from today's video i'll see you soon with a new video until then bye and take care